Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Ruby, this is my lifestyle channel. I live here in New York City. If you haven't already, please take a second to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. We are trying to reach 6K. That is the next goal here for this channel. As I am filming this, we are like 20 subscribers away. We are getting so close. I post new videos three times a week, so there's always tons of content. I also upload daily on TikTok as well, so it's a fun place to go follow as well if you want just like additional content and like little kind of like bite-sized things to watch. For today's video, I actually have a makeup tutorial, which I think this is my first one of 2022. I am so excited for this though. I have had my eye on this makeup item for a very long time because I think it's something that I am going to use a lot by having in my collection. And when purchasing it, I immediately knew that I wanted to film a makeup tutorial featuring it as well. And I am talking about the new Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. Now I got mine in the light colorway. Um, they also do have a deeper one. The packaging alone I'm just obsessed with, like the super mirrored like rose gold. The only bad thing is your fingerprints definitely show on this, but it's gorgeous. Inside, you get like basically literally the perfect face palette. All that's really missing in here is a powder and a bronzer, which I definitely have my like ride or dies my go-to, so I don't really feel like those are missing for me per se. But you get a gorgeous cream blush, a powder highlight, and then five Natasha Denona shadows, which are just some of my favorites to play with. They perform so well. And even though this is my first time using this palette, I'm already just so impressed. I feel like my face just looks so good today. I'm obsessed with my eyes. This inner corner like glitter shade is everything. I didn't even have to use like a tacky primer or anything like that to get this look that I have here. Obviously with my glasses on you probably can't see it as well, but once we cut to like the actual tutorial footage, you are going to be blown away. I can definitely see this once I'm traveling again being my go-to kind of like grab and go travel palette because there's so much that you can do with this here and I just think it's really versatile. So without further ado, I am just going to get into today's makeup tutorial. Obviously it's featuring other products as well. Like I didn't use this like just on my face, right? <laughs> I actually tried out a new concealer in today's video as well and I showed you guys also one of my like new go-to lip combos. So without further ado, I think we should just jump into the tutorial. I'm gonna have links for all the products listed down below, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy. Okay, so we are obviously starting with a bare face. For primer, I'm gonna be using my Say Beauty Glowy Super Gel. I just wanted a really luminous, hydrated base for this look, and so I thought that this was just perfect. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. This gives me very much like similar vibes to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, but for like a fraction of the price, and it's not as glowy. So I think it gives a really nice balanced look with the Say Beauty Super Gel. So this is a brand new concealer for me from Lancome and I really liked this because it says that it's an all over concealer so it should work underneath your eyes, on your face to spot correct um, and so I'm using it literally everywhere, underneath my eyes, on the little healing acne spot on my forehead, on my cheeks and blending it in with the same e.l.f. beauty sponge. You guys, I was really impressed by this. I love the way that it wore. It was kind of like a soft matte finish. And I just like cannot recommend enough. Again, this is only my first time using it, but I was super, super impressed. I'm going to be setting all of that with my Fenty Beauty Loose Setting Powder. You guys know how much I love this. Um, so I'm going to be using a little bit of a like larger tapered brush for around my chin, around my nose, on my forehead, and then a smaller brush from Real Techniques to set underneath my eyes. Thank you. 
I'm using the Say Beauty Cream Bronzer. I knew that I wanted like a very diffused kind of bronzer look for this tutorial and I love this stuff because it's so easy to blend into the skin. Again, it gives a very like soft matte finish um, and I just think it's like one of the most perfect products out there. So now it's time to jump into the Natasha Denona palette. I am starting with this cream blush and you guys, there was something magical about this shade. Like, it looked a little bit deeper in the pan, but on the skin, as you can tell, it just gives this, like, luminous, rosy finish, and I'm just obsessed with it. Next, I'm grabbing that powder highlight on a Morphe brush and just putting this on the high points of my cheekbones and then above my brow as well. That's like my favorite place to put a highlight recently. Then for the eyes, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then while I'm kind of like letting that primer like set in and do its thing, I'm going to hop into my brows. You guys know the drill, I always do gel first. This is the Sephora Brow Gel in Clear. I really love this stuff, it's super affordable and it gets the job done. For filling in my brows, I'm going to be using the Kosas Brow Pop Brow Pencil. Again, super impressed with this recently. I feel like it gives a very natural finish. It's super easy to do some like really defined um, kind of hair-like strokes in the front. And I also really love the color selection that they had as well. Okay, so going back to the eyes, I'm taking kind of the lightest of the transition shades and I'm just working this into the crease with kind of like a tapered crease brush from Morphe, really, really taking my time with these shadows. They're super easy to blend. I just wanted to make sure that I kind of got like a seamless uh, look. I'm taking these two colors and mixing them together with even a more like precise crease brush and I'm placing this just slightly lower than the original transition shade to give it a bit more definition. Now I'm taking that darkest brown shade and I'm gonna be laying this down on the outer half of my lid and blending it up into the crease. That way when we lay down the like sparkly kind of like lid shade, um, it's just not like sparkles, you know what I mean? It has a little bit more definition with the darker color on the outer half of the lid. And then obviously here as you can see, I'm taking a larger blending brush again and just kind of diffusing all of this. Now with this, it's originally supposed to be an inner corner shade, but I'm actually just using it, as you can see, kind of all over that inner half of my eyelid. I'm laying this down just with my finger. I feel like it gives the least amount of fallout and also has the most color payoff. You guys, this color is absolutely stunning. It is so reflective. It is so gorgeous. I cannot say enough. For the little bit of fallout that did appear, I'm taking just whatever powder was left over on my powder brush and wiping it away underneath my eyes. Then for the lower lash line, I'm taking that lightest transition shade again and I'm just placing it kind of like messily underneath my eyes.
So now I'm using the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. Um, I have been obsessed with this recently. I feel like my lashes look so long, so separated. It lasts all day. It doesn't smudge. I've just been trying out some new mascaras because I feel like I usually stick to like my typical three. So recently I bought this and I'm super happy that I finally made the splurge. Or not even splurge because I got the mini size, but I'm just happy that I finally purchased it. <laughs> I'm setting all of that with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and now we are moving on to the lips, starting with my Makeup by Mario Lip Liner in the color Hue. It's kind of like a cooler toned nude. I have been obsessed with these lip liners. Um, because they're wooden, I thought that they were going to be a little bit stiffer, but they are so creamy, so easy to work with, and they literally last all day. Now here is like the moment, the lip moment, the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss Lip Balm in the color Pillow Talk. If you love the Pillow Talk lipstick, but you want a little bit more moisture and just a little bit more of a glossy finish, like this is it. And after that, you are done. There you guys have it. That is my tutorial featuring the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. I cannot wait to see what you guys think of this video. I really love my makeup. I love the way that it turned out. I feel like it was so easy to achieve this look. And it could really take you from like day to night, honestly. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And again, also click that subscribe button down below. We are trying to reach 6K. That is the next goal here for this channel. Be sure to follow me on all of my other social media networks. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Clubhouse. Check out my Amazon shop. Basically, just check the description box down below for lots of fun on links and other places that you can find me but I love you guys so much I hope that you all are staying safe happy and healthy and I will see you guys again very very soon in my next video okay bye everybody